So let's talk about narcissistic devaluing. What is it? It's when a narcissist person depreciates your value beyond the normal fade out of what one might call the honeymoon period. Okay, so it's not just seeing someone for who they are and starting to see their quirks and flaws and, and sort of having an opinion about it. It is because a narcissistic person has idealized you to an extreme and created this love bombing world where everything is this perfection or this level of seeing you as amazing or as the best thing ever or as beautiful or handsome or whatever and treating you in a way that is like they don't see anything that could possibly be wrong with you there's nothing oh my gosh and then a steep devaluing a steep taking that away by pointing out your flaws why does a narcissist do this my name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and narcissistic people in your life and transform your life after being with them so if you enjoy these videos, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so let's keep going. And let me ask, why does a narcissist devalue? Basically, it's a means of power and control. Okay, so one, there's a couple things here. Once you start seeing them, as I said before, the natural fade of the quote honeymoon phase, right? The natural fade of the new relationship energy, whatever. And you start seeing them for who you are and you start holding them accountable to the things they're doing that maybe aren't so great or to just little things in life. It could be small, it could be tiny. Basically, you're not seeing them as this perfection because remember, during that idealization phase, you're also seeing them as amazing, right? And you're looking for red flags, but you're not finding them. Okay, so when you start pointing things out to them, they need to instantly shut that down and flip it around to where you're the problem. So. Therefore, the devaluing will start. They also cannot maintain the mask of perfection for forever, okay? They cannot hold it there because it's a lie. They cannot pretend to be something they're not forever and ever. The closer you get to them in a relationship, the more you do things with them, the more you're around them in multiple situations, the more you're around them when they have to give to you, when there's a need you have on your end, that's when you start seeing the devaluing. They, they devalue in that plate in that time because they can't hold the mask on. They still need supply, so they start with this horrible devaluing cycle. Remember that the negative is still supply. The positive is supply. At a certain point, they're both supply. And at a certain point, I do believe that the negative becomes more interesting supply for them. When does a narcissist devalue? Basically any time. But as I said, it often happens after the love bombing phase, and then what happens is it's mixed in. Intermittent, intermittent reinforcement, that's what it's called, okay? So they off and on, without rhyme or reason, without time, without, without any real cycle to it, will devalue you. They will spend weeks at a time in devaluation, and then suddenly you're the best thing since sliced bread. And then suddenly they'll devalue you again. There's no rhyme or reason to it. And then, let me add this to the win, sometimes there is a bit of rhyme or reason. Around holidays, around birthdays, around any time that you would be receiving attention from other people or expect attention from them. Around anything that causes them stress, around anything where their needs are not being met, where their ego has been bruised, they might start devaluing you. And how? How does this narcissistic person devalue? Let's just make a list, okay? So one way is gaslighting, okay? So they will start gaslighting you in ways like trying to flip the blame in conversations onto you, trying to make your opinion look invalid, trying to make you seem like you don't know what you're talking about, acting like there's something really confusing about what you're saying and their truth is the only reality. They'll form a victim stance. If you say anything to them, if you have a conflict or a conversation with them that is not in the positive and not glowing and just amazing how amazing they are, you know, anytime that it is real or there something needs to be said, they will take the victim stance. And through that victim stance, they'll start devaluing you by making you look like the perpetrator of some sort of attack upon them. They will project onto you the negative qualities that they have and make it seem like you're the one that has them, okay? You are always blah, 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 whatever it is. Why do you blah, blah, blah? You know, so they will project onto you the things that they're the ones who are actually doing. They will resort to name calling in those situations or they will provoke you to name calling. They will create reactivity, reactive abuse within you by 
doing all of these things that I'm talking about and then backing off like they're a victim and so that you come at it like, what are you talking about? And you come in reactive and once you get reactive, boy, they can play the victim and then devalue you in the process. So basically it's anything, the, how they do it is but anything that takes away your worth in any situation, any given situation, your worth diminished. It can come out of nowhere and it can be so subtle and so covert. Oftentimes it's so covert and so subtle, you're going, what did I do? What did I do wrong? You know, is that familiar? They can cut off emotional intimacy or all intimacy in a form of sort of hostility towards you or disregard for you or disgust for you. They can be withdrawn. They can disappear on you. They can stop sharing things with you. All of these are forms of devaluing and this is how they do. So if you are experiencing the devaluing of a narcissist, let me know in the comments what I can do to help you here to understand more about it, to talk it through. If you need coaching, group coaching or anything else like group support, peer support, check out the information in the description of every video. There are lots of links there that can help you on your way to getting support for this. Devaluation is terribly painful. It destroys your self-worth, it destroys your self-confidence, and it, it destroys relationships. You, while you're in a relationship, oftentimes might feel things like if only they would see my worth, if only they would see how good I am, they don't appreciate me. I'm unappreciated, I'm taken for granted, I am I'm not seen, I'm invisible. These are all things people feel when the devaluation happens, okay? So if you are feeling that and you are experiencing that in a relationship, please get help, please know you're not alone and take care of yourself, okay? I will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.